so semiconductors it is very important concept uh, uh, in this con in this concept number of bits has been asked in previous exams so welcoming to the concept contents is introduction characteristics of the semiconductor and types of semiconductors doping objective bits this is these are the contents i am covering in this video so welcoming to the definition of semiconductors semiconductor is a material its electronic properties lies between conductors and insulators semiconductor is a material its electronic properties lies between conductors and insulators and one more point interesting point about semiconductors is these are bipolar why these are bipolar means current is due to both charge carriers of opposite sign that is current current constitution is due to both negative charge and positive charge okay so this is about the definition of the semiconductors so welcoming to the characteristics of semiconductor so its resistivity is in the order of 10 power minus 5 4 ohm meter to 10 power 5 ohm meter this is the range of the resistivity of the semiconductors and one more important characteristic of a semiconductor is it has crystalline structure okay in the in prescribed order there is a crystalline structure uh, in the form of it is in the form of crystalline structure welcoming to the next point okay they have conductivity is in the range of 10 power minus 4 to 10 power plus 4 same ones per meter it is the range of conductivities of semiconductors okay it forms covalent bonds it is another characteristic it forms covalent bonds semiconductor material forms covalent bonds and it is negative temperature coefficient material semiconductor as well as insulators both are semicon negative temperature coefficient materials negative temperature coefficient material means if the temperature rises resistance will be decreased if the temperature rises resistance of that material will be decreased so welcoming to the next characteristic it has almost filled valence band and almost empty conduction band it is the another characteristic of a semiconductor an energy gap between valence band and conduction band is 1.12 electron volts for silicon and 0.67 for germanium okay these are the characteristics of the semiconductors if uh, if any material obeys all these things that material is called semiconductor so welcoming to the types of semiconductors so two there are two types of semiconductors are there one is intrinsic semiconductor another one is extrinsic semiconductor one is intrinsic semiconductor another one is extrinsic semiconductor in extrinsic semiconductor we have two types of semiconductors one is p type semiconductor another one is n type semiconductor okay these are the classification of semiconductors so welcoming to the intrinsic intrinsic semiconductor the first semiconductor is intrinsic semiconductor so it is a pure form of semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor is called pure form of semiconductor because no impurity is added in this material okay so welcoming to it has welcoming to intrinsic semiconductors these are especially fourth group elements in the periodic table of chemistry so if fourth group elements these have four valence electrons intrinsic semiconductor has four valence electrons okay so examples of intrinsic semiconductors are carbon silicon germanium these are the examples of intrinsic semiconductors okay intrinsic semiconductor has four valence electrons it is very important point and previous bit so welcoming to this one uh, apart from the two materials silicon and germanium silicon is mostly used material because of its availability and abundance okay silicon is mostly used material so it is one of the previous bit welcoming to the next point intrinsic semiconductor okay at room temperature it will act as a insulator not as a conductor but extrinsic semiconductor will act as a conductor at room temperature but while coming to intrinsic semiconductor it acts as an insulator at room temperature okay so while coming to extrinsic semiconductor it is impure form of semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor is pure form of semiconductor extrinsic semiconductor is impure form of semiconductor it acts as a conductor at room temperature 
that is 27 degree centigrade or 300 303 okay 300 degree kelvins and acts as an insulator at 0 degree temperature or 270 degree kelvins okay so it acts as a conductor at, uh, at room temperature insulator at 0 degree temperature it is very important point of extrinsic semiconductor in the extrinsic semiconductor we have two types of conductors one is p-type semiconductor another one is n type semiconductor in p type semiconductor intrinsic is formed by doping the intrinsic semiconductor with trivalent impurities if, intri if intrinsic semiconductor is doped with the trivalent elements then the element formed is p type semiconductor well coming to n type semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor doped with the pentavalent elements is called n type semiconductor Intrinsic semiconductor doped with pentavalent elements is called n-type semiconductor. Trivalent elements has three valence electrons. Pentavalent elements has five valence electrons. Okay. So p-type semiconductor is acceptor semiconductor and n-type semiconductor is donor semiconductor. So trivalent impurities. In the it is the previous bit. What are the different types? Which of the following material is trivalent impurity they will ask like this so the trivalent impurities are boron aluminum gallium indium and nitrogen these are the trivalent impurities welcoming to pentavalent impurity phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth and lithium these are the pentavalent impurities if pentavalent impurities are added to intrinsic semiconductor then the uh, semiconductor formed is n type semiconductor if the intrinsic semiconductor is doped with uh, trivalent impurities then it is called p type semiconductor okay in p type semiconductor holes are majority charge carriers in p type semiconductor holes are majority charge carriers in n type semiconductor majority carriers are electrons okay so what is doping now we are we are discussed we are discussed about what do, we have listened about doping 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 what is doping so doping is adding impurity to the intrinsic semiconductor is called doping in general sense but when coming to very more technical sense to increase the conductivity of the semiconductor material without change in temperature so there is a addition of trivalent or pentavalent impurities to the intrinsic semiconductor this process is called doping addition of trivalent or pentavalent impurities to the intrinsic semiconductor without change in temperature to increase the conductivity so this process is called doping okay so as earlier said as said as the point is trivalent impurities has three valence electrons pentavalent impurities has five valence electrons these are very important points on previous bits okay this is all about the semiconductors introduction and semiconductor physics especially so this is about semiconductor concept it is very important concept if you watch this video and if you remember this all these points definitely you will be able to answer bits asked on semiconductor concept thank you